Well, so far so good. Uh, now we have our uh, let's go back here. Uh, now we have our uh, item reader, uh, processor, and writer. So now let's go back here on the top and create our step. Okay. So this is a simple step which gonna like read from database and uh, read from a file. Sorry, read from a file and write into database. Let's just go here. It's gonna be public uh, step, right? Nope, it should be step. Uh, let's say like uh, this, the name of step gonna be from file into data base. Okay, oops, yeah. Uh, let's just import here, import the class. So um, it's gonna use uh, the step builder factory okay because it's the factory to 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 build our our step so let's just give here a, again the same name like uh, from file into database uh, gonna be the name of our step okay and then hmm, this is important part the concept about chunk and tasklet which is uh, uh, one thing that I want to, to, to cover here. In order to understand the concept of a step here, uh, let's move uh, back to our uh, core concept. Uh, I just have to tell you guys that Spring Batch, okay, has two kinds of steps for processing data. Uh, the first one is chunk-oriented processing. So, if you go back here, we can see like uh, we have the chunk, okay, and tasklet. So what is the chunk? The chunk uh, works as a like uh, um, the chunk uh, orientation. Example: uh, Let's suppose that we have a file, okay, we are reading a file or database, okay, and it has like uh, example hundred lines, okay, hundred items. So in chunk oriented processing. Um, the step gonna be like executed in the uh, in the follow manner. Uh, example: We read the f uh, we we are going to set a chunk size. Okay. Example: We are reading from um, a file uh, which uh, contains like hundred records. So we are going to say like okay, the chunk size should be ten. So what's gonna happen is we are going to read the first one. Okay. We are going to process the first one. We are going to read the second one. We are going to process the second one until we reach this. We, we, we are going to repeat it until we reach the chunk size. Then we are going to persist it in chunk. So we read first, process first, read second, process second. Then we read the, the, the ninth, the tenth. Okay. When once we reach the chunk size, okay, we process that, uh, uh, all those 10 in chunk. Okay because we don't want to process it like uh, read one, process one, and write one. So it's exhausting for our data source, okay? So this is the concept of chunk-oriented processing. And the tasklet uh, is the concept where everything happens in one transaction, or you can just process everything in the bulk, okay? And example, what we can do in chunk processing is, example, once, our job finished, we want to have a task to remove or delete or zip the file, okay? So in that order, we use uh, the, the tasklet, okay? We are going to explore it later, but for now, let's use the chunk-oriented processing. So going back, okay, let's now uh, here uh, create our, um, uh, let me say like our a chunk oriented job okay so in that order we know that we are using uh, we are having like an input the input gonna be like sales dto okay the output gonna be the sales info itself okay and it's a chunk okay it's chunk oriented so we are going to give here our chunk size let's just suppose that we are going to give it 10 okay uh, then we start creating our step. A step, as I told you before, contains 
or must have a reader and a writer and also a processor which is optional so in our case we have already here our reader so let's add it is say it's reader nice then processor and as you know like we have created here a component called sales info item processor so just let let's just inject the item processor so it's gonna be like sales info item processor uh, let's call it well sales info item processor so in our case yes we are going to use here um, the sales info item processor then we are going to have our writer so we have here our writer which is a um, sales info item writer okay we have created it here so in that order we have already our step created and now the last one is the job itself but before that let's just say that okay it's a bean so and spring can just uh, manage it 